Hey coders and welcome to a brand new season of this Google Cloud Platform course. In this playlist we're going to be covering the Compute Engine service starting out with this introductory episode where we'll be giving an overview of it. So this playlist is going to be very fun and nostalgic for me because Compute Engine is actually what introduced me to Google Cloud and cloud technologies in general. So what is Compute Engine? Well, it is an IaaS or infrastructure as a service for creating and running virtual machines. Now let's break that down a little bit further. It says it is an IaaS. Now what is an IaaS? Well, in the past, if you wanted to create your own computing resources and maybe databases, maybe load balancers, that would be considered infrastructure and you would have to put in a lot of upfront capital and time to build that infrastructure out, right? You would have to put in months and months of, of time and lots of dollars to build out all of the servers and get all the hardware that you would need to, to make all of this computing resources. Well, now we have these cloud providers that have already built out this infrastructure and they are offering it to you as now a service. So in the words of Google Cloud, they are converting your capital expenses now into operating expenses. So if you recall from our last playlist on App Engine, that was a PaaS or a platform as a service. Now platform as a service still offers you this infrastructure, but they also offer you additional platform tools. So as you can see, the infrastructure as a service is just offering you the infrastructure. And so that means a lot of the configuration is going to have to be done on your side. Again, it's a little bit lower level, but it does require you a lot more control. But again, there is that learning curve, but you won't have to worry about that after you watch this playlist. So this is again an IS, and it also says for creating and running virtual machines. Now, what is a virtual machine? Well, we're going to be getting this, we're going to be getting into this a little bit more deeply in the next episode. But for now, you can think of a virtual machine as basically just a computer that's on the cloud. So Compute Engine will let you access computers that are on the cloud and you can create as many different computers as you want on the cloud and you can run different program, different software, different operating systems, all of these things you are now going to be given access to on the cloud and it's all through Compute Engine. All right, I'm going to stop right there and wait until the next couple episodes to get more in deeply. But for now, let's just head on over to the live demonstration so that we can get oriented on the Compute Engine dashboard and all of the features of it. Here we are once again in the Cloud Console and the way to get to Compute Engine is simply to click on this hamburger icon in the upper left hand corner and then scroll all the way down until you find Compute Engine. It should be near the top of the list just because it is such a popular service and it should also be underneath the compute subdirectory. Once you find it, you can click on it and then that's going to redirect you to the Compute Engine dashboard. Now, there are a lot of different terms here, but we're not going to be clicking on any of them in this video. Right, for right now, all I want you to do is just familiarize yourself with some of these terms just to become more comfortable with the jargon, such as instance templates, VM instances, TPUs or tensor processing units. We have disks and snapshots and images and a whole lot of other terms. Again, I just want you to look over them right now. But then in the later episodes of this playlist, we're actually going to be going through them one by one and learning more about them. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the very next episode when we begin learning more about virtual machine instances.